Hunger, the Barbarian, Part 1. Hunger stared at the bandits before him, with his axe held high. He all ran into a whirlwind tornado, with his axe held out. Ah, shit! A bandit spoke, before again beheaded. Hunger's axe then stops inside a tree. He then checks the dead headless corpses. My work here is finished, he proudly said to himself. He yanks his axe out and sheaves it on his back. His barbarian muscles cut with blood as he walked off deeper into the forest. But Hunger was no ordinary barbarian. He was the last of his tribe, the best one in the land. Hunger stopped in his tracks and said, Me hungry, me need food. When suddenly a giant pig fell from the sky and crashed before Hunger. He looked around for any wizards, because he didn't trust them. But there wasn't any. He unsheathed his axe and chopped into its belly. Hours later, a fire had been built, and Hunger was enjoying his cooked pork. He was ripping into it, when a lone wolf approached and snarled at him. Hunger just boldly laughed at it, before chucking the rock at it. The wolf runs off back into the darkened forest. With his belly now full, Hunger w- went to sleep inside the pig's carcass. He sat peacefully as a huge pack of wolves emerged, and surrounded him and the pig carcass. The wolves then each grabbed a part of the pig, and began dragging it through the forest, unaware that Hunger was inside. He wakes up and notices that he's now in a cave. He also hears a bunch of wolves eating his pig. So he pulls his axe out and barrels out of the carcass. He locks eyes with a pack of wolves who snarl at him and get ready to fight. Hunger slowly gets up just as the wolves pounce on him. He swings his axe upwards and diagonally slicing up the wolves, killing them all but one. He lifts his axe above his head and charges towards it. The wolf jumps but then gets thrown back into the earth and split in two with the force of Hungar's axe. I'm glad I found you, my axe, Hunger said to his axe as he cleans it. He then checks the mess and then pelts the wolves and puts them on his back. Time to find a tavern and sell these pelts, he said out loud before leaving the cave. End of part one.